All right. I'm Caleb Karoga, and I'm one of the Blaze mentors in the agriculture category. It's been an amazing journey uh, finding young people who want to learn more about agriculture. But what I like is when they come, they have so many questions. You can tell there's, uh, there's a hunger for knowledge. And, and what we tell them is, fine, you're here, but we want you to look at agriculture in a different perspective. We want to see, we want to look at agriculture as a business. So we are teaching them the business of agriculture. Now, why we are here today is still what Underblaze has been. We want to mentor them. We want them to look at, look at Kitale. Kitale is a maize growing region. It's an agricultural zone. And they are complaining they don't have a market because everybody wants to sell to the local market. But we are teaching them, how about you look at value addition? What else can we do with the sweet potatoes that you have in plenty? Besides you planting maize and still taking it to the granary or to the silos, what else can you do with this maize that you have? So that's what we are doing today, teaching these people to look at agriculture as a business. Now, this is my 10th year in farming. And I have gone through hell and high water. I've gone through the good, the bad, and mostly the ugly of farming. What makes me want to give back to the young people is the pitfalls that I've been through, the mistakes that I've made. I don't want them to make the same same mistakes. I farmed as a hobby. For me, I was farming emotionally, just going through the emotions of life, and I don't want them to go through what I've gone through. I have seen opportunities that I've wasted that I do not want them to waste those opportunities. I know capital is a major issue, I know markets are a major issue, but we are here to debunk that myth that you must have a million shillings saved somewhere to get into agriculture. You can start with as little as one cock and two hens like I started. Once they see that it can be done, all right, and you show them. For the young people, you, you show them, don't tell them. So if you can show them that it can be done, then they will do it. We have a great need for young people to embrace farming and to look at farming as a career that pays, not as a last option. Agriculture is not for the uneducated, for retirees. Agriculture is for that kid who learned how to crawl to the old man about to get to his grave. So it's for everybody. But we just need to have these people change the image of farming. That's why I keep saying, ukulima sio ushamba. Young people are saying, we have Googled, we have read stories of successful farmers, but something is not quite adding up. We want to be anchored in, why are you farming 10 years, 10 years later? Because a media story will just tell you how good farming is. But these young people are looking for, quote unquote, heroes in agriculture, people who will tell them how it can be done. Because you only read of the success bit of it, you don't read the back end of the trials, the tribu tribulations, the, the tears. And that's what we share with them. And, and all of them are saying, we want to, but where is the capital? All right? But then tell them, okay, you know, capital is as simple as how many people do you have on social media? How are you using your time online to market your produce? Actually, you don't even have to have a produce that you have produced yourself. You can leverage with your friends, go to their farms, take photos of their sukuma wikis, post them on your Instagram, on your Facebook page, and you will get a client. So we are teaching them to leverage on social capital, even if they don't have money themselves. <laughs>